Okay, guys and gals, Jim back here. This is going to be part one of a two-part uh, out-of-box review. There's a lot of plastic in this Godzilla model, so um, I figured I'll go through the kind of like what makes up the base, the display, and all that first, and then the uh, second part will go through uh, the actual body parts that make up the Godzilla beast, uh, you know, the main, the main parts. Those some of those parts are quite big and everything. This is going to be a huge kit, man. It's going to be awesome when done. So you, as you can see, it's kind of molded in a, uh, I'd say like a dark, you know, maybe a forest green, you know, medium, you know, darker, darker green, something like that, you know. Um, I'll probably go a little bit darker, like a grayish green. I'm thinking maybe uh, using a rattle can of Rust-Oleum, the, um, the, it's a deeper green. Uh, and it's kind of got a little gray hue because in the actual movies, even though they were black and white, um, a few color pictures they do show of the old suit that they used for the movie. It had a little bit of greenish tint to it, but it was uh, m more like like a charcoal, a grayish color. So, um, you know, I want to keep a little bit of the green. But uh, this first screw here, these are all the spines that you see run down, up and down his back and uh, his tail and everything. And uh, they're all molded two-sided, you know, they're not halves where you got to glue them together. So that's going to be pretty nice as far as no seams on them and stuff. And those will look good with a little bit of dry brushing on the edges, like a like a lighter gray color or something, you know, to, to highlight them and stuff. And I might even go with a lighter color overall on these than the main body and stuff, just because uh, uh, some, of the, some of the photos of the suit, you could see they were a different shade. Than, uh, than the main body parts and everything, but uh, there's quite a few of those. And um, what what I what I see, they're all numbered on the sprues over here, but on the uh, on the main body parts where they go, they're actually the little the little sockets that they fit into. The numbers are um, molded right onto the parts, so you don't have to worry about you know which one goes where. It's pretty pretty uh, basically simple and stuff. Um, one thing when I was looking at some of this stuff as I was laying these couple screws here out, um, anybody that's in the end scale model railroading, end scale model railroad is roughly one one sixty third scale, um, pretty much the same size of that Robert E. Lee that I built a while back with all the lighting. Um, this kit, if you've got an end scale layout, I see a few guys out there that are getting into uh, doing end scale model railroad layouts and stuff. Um, Papa Dan's one of them and stuff. This would be pretty cool if you want to do like a Godzilla scene on your model railroad. It would fit in pretty good to scale and stuff and that. But um, those are the those are the some of the smaller spines, and here's some of the bigger ones there. They go further further down his back before his tail starts and everything. And then uh, there you can see the size of his hands. I'm going to grab next to him and stuff. But those are, the, those are his hands there. Half of them. There's a top half and a bottom half and everything. But uh, details real nice and everything. And as far as seam lines and, you know, doing a bunch of putty work, if there's any gaps, I'm going to probably do putty work. But being this was actually a rubber suit, Back in the day, um, you know, there were seams in that and stuff, you know, from from the different pieces stitched together. So I'm not going to go all out and make this a completely seamless model and have to scribe a lot of the detail back in and everything. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be made just to look like back in the day, you know, when they were actually filmed, being that this is based on the 1954 uh, Godzilla. And then um, these railroad cars, I already snapped the two halves together, but those are... I mean, those are real close to what an end scale rail, railroad car size is and stuff. So, but those are pretty cool, the cross railroad cars. And there's something I might open up a few of the windows on them and stuff, and uh, do some little lighting effects, you know, like 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 flickering LEDs, like fire and stuff, like they're burning and stuff like that. Um, there's another one there, you know. These these are made to place in his hands and his mouth and stuff. So, those are those. I'm gonna start to get rid of some of this stuff in a box. Um, this is some of the building foundations and things like that for the diorama and uh, all that. So, uh, as, as you can see, you know, just holding them up in my hand, these are some pretty big hunks of plastic here. So, um, you know, for the price they're charging for this, like $54, um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> you get a lot of plastic for the money compared to some kits they're doing nowadays. I know those little Star Trek Discovery, uh, enterprise kits and stuff those are going like 30 35 36 close to 40 bucks and 
those are 12500 scale <laughs> about this amount of plastic was what it takes to make up one of those ships complete so you're getting a lot here for the money and stuff and this is this like i said it's 16 inches tall so it's a huge kit so um there's uh the sprue some of the parts are coming loose we're just going to take them off because i'm sure it not hard to figure out where they go there's another part of a building there and stuff and, and all that so that's pretty you know like i said this stuff's pretty good size that's one of the that's one of the building destroyed buildings that's partially standing up and everything and it's got some openings i might open up a few more windows and do like the flickering fire effect behind that wall and use some uh fiber fill and create the smoke effect that like it's rising up you know smoldering and stuff like that there's the top of your tank turret right there it's pretty well detailed and actually for a 144th scale tank it's like a little kit in itself and there's your tank tracks and all and there's a nice sign that you get godzilla king of the monsters there's your uh your uh, um tube for your cannon your uh your tank your gun on the tank on top of the turret and all that there's the bottom part of the body of the tank and that and uh like i said it's pretty pretty well detailed and everything like a little mini kit in itself and all that so um i'll probably end up looking i know um um trumpeter they make 144th scale uh planes if they make anything like jet fighters from back in that era you know the early early style jet fighters there's another part of his hand there i mean you can see see how big his hands are even and stuff so i might look for some planes and kind of have like a little plane coming down and stuff now here's the base it's two pieces i got them set snapped together and stuff you got another train car down there you got some pieces of iron work you got some more more iron work from the buildings there you got your little treads your tr your tread tracks where the where the tank mounts um your railroad tracks and everything this will look good all painted up like rock work and a little bit of you know ground color and stuff so some greens and yellows and stuff like that and browns tans um you got your mounting points here where your two, two feet will go for the godzilla but uh that's pretty much that and you know there's the two halves it's, it's gonna be a pretty big display and everything so um tell you what we're gonna call this video to an end and we'll get back into the uh the main body parts in the next video and stuff and i'll get all them laid out and come back at you in a couple minutes here so uh until the next time thanks for uh watching Thanks for subscribing, thanks for hitting the like button, thanks for all the great comments you guys have been leaving, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.